HDCP compliance errors are a common problem when mixing modern HDMI devices with older technology AV products. But what is HDCP and how can we overcome these errors? Join us here at howtoav.tv as we find out. Welcome to HowToAV.TV. Today I'm joined by our very own AV signal distribution expert, Martin Featherston, to talk HDCP and HDCP errors. So Martin, perhaps you could start us off by deciphering yet another of those AV acronyms. What does HDCP actually stand for and what's it actually designed to do? Well, as you say, Chris, uh, it is another AV acronym, High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection, so you can see why they shorten it to HDCP. And basically it was developed by Intel and it's essentially to prevent uh, piracy and the ability to copy HD images and video and audio as well across peer-to-peer -peer networks and on the internet as well. So what's HDCP doing within the AV system and, and how does it work? As I mentioned, it's designed to prevent the digital audio and video content being copied by a third-party device uh, as it travels between connections, so as the transmitting device delivers the content and then the display receives it, both of which have to be HDCP compliant and able to pass that HD video and audio across. So I guess therefore that this can cause the HDCP compliance errors and affect the success of the signal? That's correct. The, the HDCP basically has to be present on both the source and the display. If it's present on the source but isn't present on the display, then no image will be passed and no video will be passed. If both source and display are compliant, then you will get video and audio being passed between the both, both devices. And that's why, Chris, you might not get a picture. You also mentioned devices which aren't compliant. What, what sort of devices may they be? Uh, things like PCs are, can be non-HDCP compliant because on a PC the content is your own, although it's digital. Once you send it up to a screen, it's actually you, your own content, so therefore you own it. So there's no issues with sharing that across the network or you know across the internet as well. Um, some other instances are where maybe a broadcaster have got their own content. So companies like Sky and the BBC own their own content, therefore they can do what they want to it. Therefore, it doesn't have any HDCP compliancy in-house. Once it's then broadcast, at that point it then becomes HDCP compliant. And finally, Martin, tell us, is there a nice workaround or an easy fix for HDCP compliance errors? In a word, no, not really. There's not much you can do. As I mentioned, if it's your own content, uh, then you are able to then distribute it and do things with it. Uh, an example is, you know, again, Sky or broadcasting companies where they own the content. But other than that, really, no, you are stuck with it. If it's a non-HDCP device and a non-HDCP display, I'm afraid, then you're not going to get an image. So that's HDCP, and it would seem that if you're experiencing HDCP error messages, the likelihood is that one or more of your devices on the system simply isn't HDCP compliant. Thanks to Martin for joining us, and if you need more expert advice with your AV system, commercial or residential, then the How To AV team of experts, including our very own Martin, are always happy to hear from you. Call us on the number shown on the screen or leave us a message or a question in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the howtoav.tv channel. Thanks for watching.